Hello and welcome to Blue Planet Red. I'm your host, Brian Corey Dobbs. Today we're going to be looking at the extraordinary claim that a pyramid has been discovered directly adjacent to an impact crater on Mars. Hmm. Now, let's take a look at the extraordinary evidence supporting this. As you can see here, these are the URLs and Google Earth Pro coordinates where you can find this structure that we're going to be talking about today. But first up, let's have a look at this image here. Originally taken in September of 2004, what we see here are craters scattered throughout the landscape. Mostly uninteresting except for this one particular anomaly right here in the center of the screen. It's hard to see anything here at this distance, but if you zoom in, well, what do we see here? Now this is a high contrast image, which will improve in just a moment. This crater is two and a half miles wide. And as you can see, it has a surrounding ejecta field. Everything that was in there that was blown out after impact. What we're gonna be focused on today is this structure right next to it which, believe it or not, is 1.7 miles wide. Now, as you can clearly see, this structure is pretty symmetrical. It's got four sides, and most notably, it's undamaged. Hmm. Now, NASA gave us a better look at this. They actually photographed this in 2024 with their high-rise camera. And even with this updated look, the symmetry holds up and you can clearly tell that it still demonstrates what appears to be four different sides to it. So the question becomes, what the heck is this thing? Now, you might ask yourself, is this just a mountain? Well, as you can see back on the wide shot, there's no mountain range. So you might think, okay, well, can we have mountains without a mountain range? And yes, we can. We call them volcanoes here on Earth. But if you take a look at a volcano from top down, satellite imagery, oftentimes they're irregular in shape or perhaps even conical like the one in Japan, Mount Fuji. But this thing we have here on Mars is quite symmetrical but it's not conical. It clearly has sides. You can see by the shading that it's got triangular sides. Now, what does NASA have to say about this? As you can see from their website, they call this thing a knob. <laughs> it's a knob surrounded by crater ejecta, which we'll talk more about in just a minute. Now, what the heck is a knob? Is that a technical term? I had to look this thing up. Well, a knob apparently is another word for came. Now, I've never heard of this word before. I had to go look this one up also. According to just a quick Wikipedia search here, came is a glacial landform, an irregularly shaped hill or mound composed of sand, gravel, and till that accumulates in a depression on a retreating glacier and is then deposited on the land surface with further melting of the glacier. Okay. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, caves are created when sand and gravel accumulate in low spots within a glacier, and also sometimes along a glacier's front and edges. When the ice melts, the sediment is dumped on the ground, forming a small hill, a came, in an area that might otherwise be flat. Cames can be unstable, since they are usually composed of loose debris. When the ice melts, support is removed, and they sometimes collapse, spreading debris across the landscape. Okay, so the question is, is this a came? Well, if cames are formed by glaciers, the question is, can a glacier form a giant mountainous structure that is 1.7 miles wide? Can you imagine what kind of glacier must be necessary to produce something that large? Hmm. And that this thing has just simply stood there for millions, perhaps even 
billions of years. Regardless of what you want to call this thing, this structure does not appear to be damaged by the meteor impact, nor is it covered by any of the ejecta that was blown out of it. If you just look at the rim of the crater, you can clearly see this structure has no damage whatsoever. So the question becomes, how can a structure survive the ejection of crustal material from an object large enough and with enough velocity to create an impact crater two and a half miles wide? And again, look at what NASA titled this thing. On their website, they call this a knob surrounded by crater ejecta. So NASA is basically confirming what we can clearly see for ourselves. The ejecta blown out of the crater did not fall on top of the structure next to it, which leads us to the only logical conclusion that this structure was created after the impact. And so if we've already ruled out that this is a natural creation, it's not a mountain, it's not a volcano, nor is it a knob, then we have to consider the alternative. That this four-sided symmetrical structure is a pyramid on Mars. Now, I know how that must sound. And when I first learned about these structures on Mars, it gave me an unsettling feeling here in my gut. Because if in fact these things are pyramids, what does that mean? It means there was a civilization on Mars in the ancient past that is no longer there. Mars suddenly becomes a lot more interesting. So planetary scientists will tell us that Mars turned from blue to red billions of years ago. Yes, billions with a B. So this structure could indeed be billions of years old. And even though it's not pristine, it doesn't have sharp edges, I'm not too concerned about that. I mean, imagine what any of our pyramidal structures or man-made structures here on Earth would look like even just after a million years. And even if you take a look at unexcavated pyramids, for example, Chichen Itza or Teotihuacan, what you'll see is that they just kind of look like hills. They don't have sharp edges and distinct lines about them. And from space, you might not know looking down that these things are any more than just a hill. But on Mars, you know, we don't have the same erosional forces. Okay, the, uh, the atmosphere is less than 1% as dense as Earth. There's hardly any liquid water on the planet, so the way uh, sediment gets deposited just isn't really the same. So these, these things have really a better chance of retaining their shape, even for millions or billions of years. But, you know, of course we can't be 100% certain. So what do you guys think? So if you'd like to see more pyramidal structures on Mars, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and consider watching my Mars Disclosure documentary, Blue Planet Red, which is now streaming everywhere on Amazon, your cable video on demand, and other networks. And for more information, please visit blueplanetred.net. And thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.